What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Now, our first story is coming from a FIFA YouTuber known as JMX. Apparently, there's a JMX and his girlfriend sex tape. That's been leaked. JMX is a FIFA YouTuber with over 2.2 million subscribers. A lot of his videos have his girlfriend in there, Jessica Rose. I honestly don't understand how this mutant is dating her, but you know, shout out to him. When I see fucking JMX, I think, hey, you guys. Regardless, allegedly, there has been a sex tape that's been released. It's all over Twitter and it's even on the Pornhub titled Jessica Shears slash Rose from Love Island. Now listen, I had to watch this video because it's my job to do so. It's my job to to dig deep in, 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 into the dark corners of the internet to report to you the truth. And let me tell you something about this video. One, very poor lighting. And two, the, 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 the little, tiny little, the little, little penis. JMX responded to these allegations with a video titled, the strip FIFA goes too far. The truth behind Jess's sex tape. And in the video, he claims that it is not him. But when JMX says that it's not him in the video, he says it very like, uh, I don't know, like sarcastically. Again, like I said, the lighting is poor. I don't know 100% if it is Jessica, if it is JMX, but... Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Also in the news, do you guys remember when there was this craze, there was this trend all over YouTube where people were doing 24 hour overnight challenges. Like they would stay in a Walmart for 24 hours or stay in a zoo or some shit. Well, one of these YouTubers that really adapted to this trend and started doing a lot was a guy by the name of J Station. Many months ago, J Station uploaded a video titled What the Fuck 24 Hour Overnight Challenging and Abandoning Trains 24 Hour Overnight Sneaking into Train. Now, this took place over in Canada and he uploaded this video and it did really well. I mean, it got 1.4 million views. But you know who saw this video? The police. And they charged him with so many different charges that he is facing 10 to life in prison. And it's not a joke. He uploaded a video titled, I need your help facing life in prison, not clickbait. In the description of the video, he asked his fans to tweet at the railroad and tweet at the Ottawa police, begging them to drop the charges. Now, this is the absolute worst of Jay Station's legal problems, but he has even more charges for other 24 hour challenges that he's doing. This dude is, I, he, he's gonna be in jail, bro. And look, man, I understand that you're going out there and you're trying to do edgy stuff for YouTube fame, but guys, please don't break the fucking law, dude. Just just don't break the law. I personally think what they're doing to J Station is extreme, but like they're gonna find him guilty. There's no way they can find him innocent. He literally recorded the whole thing and uploaded it to YouTube and 1.4 million people seen it. So he's in, he's in big trouble. Also in the news, yesterday we reported that Rice Gum came out with a diss track on Jake Paul, and apparently Jake Paul is copyright claiming his videos. Rice Gum tweeted out, wow, I was about to drop the video and this greedy motherfucker keeps trying to claim my video and take my money. Now that tweet since has been deleted. I reached out to Rice Gum to find out exactly what happened. He told me that his video was flagged by Jake Paul, but it was like automated. Jake Paul didn't do it personally. And once Jake Paul found out, he removed the flag. So this issue is resolved. And now for our final story. Uh, about a year ago, Colossal is Crazy uploaded a video on FouseyTube. It was named one of the best exposed videos ever. Uh, Colossal did it like a documentary. It got praised throughout all the community. Then, FouseyTube, false flagged the video and stole the money from the video. There's an update on this, and I'm happy that I was able to link Clown and FouseyTube up, but FouseyTube did reach out to Colossal is Crazy, and he paid him for the money that was taken with the copyright claim. Colossal is Crazy tweeted out, you should know that FouseyTube paid me back what the video made when he claimed it. I still stand by the video, but thank him for that. I must say, FouseyTube, uh, I don't know how many months ago this was, but when you uploaded the video and you apologized to everyone, 
I kind of thought you were full of shit, but I was willing to give you a second chance, and I'm glad that I did because you seem to be fixing a lot of the 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 beefs and stuff that you were involved in, and you've been doing the right thing, and I I have to applaud FouseyTube for that. And now for our final final story. The mainstream media made an article about me, and I didn't even read the article, but I must say, The Verge is fucking hilarious. This is the thumbnail they used for their fucking article. <laughs> I love the wallpaper. It's awesome. I don't know. Apparently, the article is talking shit about me, Philip DeFranco, PewDiePie, whoever. I don't know. Verge, listen. You can say whatever you want about me. Just keep bringing us these epic fucking thumbnails because I thought that shit was hilarious and I don't give a fuck what you say about me. You can say anything. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news. Guys, my merch, it's selling like a god church. If you haven't got it yet, check it out. Link in the description. We're so close to 1.9 million subscribers, but I have to say, currently, drum alert, is over 1.8 million subscribers. I'm better at Microsoft Paint than The Verge.